everyone. Good afternoon. I am Thiago Reis. I am a professor of mathematics here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And I will talk about uh, transquartanian numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I will start with a short, a little short about quartanians. The quartanians are a four dimensional set of numbers and they are an extension of complex numbers and they are defined in similar way complex numbers with a real part but they have three imaginary part because they are in four dimensional and they have three imaginary unites and quartenio are an associative division algebra that means uh, they have an uh, addition operation that is commutative and associative, and the multiplication that is associative but not commutative. And uh, division is allowed, except division by zero. And the complex numbers are also associative division algebra related to the addition and the multiplication of quartanians. For every non zero quartanian, there is a other quartanian that the left, the right multiplication and the left multiplication by the first one is the multiplicative neutral, the number one. And this number is called the multiplicative inverse of the first one number. As I said, quartanian multiplication is not commutative in general. And because of this, there are quartanians X and non-zero quartanians Y, where the right multiplication by the multiplicative inverse is different of the left multiplication by the multiplicative inverse. Because of this, in quartanians, we have two divisions, the right division and the left, the left division as denoted we, uh, as we can see. The quartanian norm or modulus is defined as usual by uh, vector vectors in a vector space. And the quartanian conjugate is defined in similar way for uh, complex numbers. Now we will see a construction of the transquartanians. It is similar to the construction of complex numbers Transcomplex numbers from complex ones, we construct the transquartanians from quartanians. We start taking the set of ordered pairs where the first coordinate is an uh, ordinary quartanian number and the second coordinate is the quartanian number specifically zero or one. And we define that two pairs uh, relate it, each other. If there is a positive real number, that is a common factor between the coordinates. And we denote this the quotient set, that is the set of all equivalence class by 8 power t. And we call this set the set of the transquartanian, that is, its equi equivalence class is a transquartanian. And we have that uh, the set of the transquartanian is well defined. That means that this relation is, in fact, an equivalence relation. And we have that we, we can see that the set of all class can be uh, split in three kinds of class. First, the class where the second coordinate is one. The class of the second coordinate is zero, but the first coordinate has modulus or norm one, and the only class of zero, zero. And now we give a uh, arithmetical structure to this set. We define firstly the addition, the sum between two classes of the kind with the second coordinate zero is defined by the class 
of the second coordinate is zero, and the first coordinate is the sum between the first coordinates with modulus one. And the sum between any other class is defined in a similar way, the sum of the fractions. The multiplication is defined by the multiplication coordinate, the product coordinate to coordinate. And the opposite of a class is the class that the first coordinate is the additive inverse of the first coordinate. And the reciprocal, if the first coordinate is zero, is the class exchanging the coordinates. And otherwise, the reciprocal is the class of the second coordinate is one and the first coordinate is the second coordinate over the first one. Here, we don't have a problem with the right division or the left division because Quartenio has the property that the multiplication uh, with one real number is the same uh, on the right or on the left. So uh, because y is 0 or 1, we have not ambiguity here. The subtraction is the sum by the opposite. The right division is the right multiplication by the reciprocal. And the left division is the left multiplication by the reciprocal. And we have that all arithmetic operations were being well defined. This is proved in the paper in Transmathematical Journal. And uh, the important theory, and is because of this, we made this construction. There are no exceptions in any arithmetic operation on transquartanians. And in particular, division by zero is allowed. And we have that this subset of transquartanian numbers, the set of the class that the second coordinate is one, is a four-dimensional associative division algebra of the real numbers. Because of this, there is a isomorphism between this subset of the transquartanians and the set of the quartanians. So we can say that this subset of the transquartanium is isomorphic cope of the quartanions. In this sense, we will say that the quartanions are a subset of transquartanions. In this way, transquartanions are an extension of quartanions that allow divisor by zero. Uh, we will see that see, all transquartanians can be seen as a fraction between quartanians. First of all, we have that the right division and the left division, where one of the numbers is a transquartanian, is a transquartanian and the other one, at least one of them, is a real number. These two divisions are the same, the right and the left division. And because of this, we define the, uh, the only division as usual. A over B is the right division by B or the left division by B, if at least one of the numbers is real. There is no ambiguity because of the theory above. And we have that every transquartanian can be written as a fraction where the denominator is a quartanian number and the denominator is zero or one. One more time, there is no ambiguity here because of the theorem above. And finally, we have the fear of this section that all transquartanian numbers can be written as a fraction with right division of quartanian numbers and also with left division of quartanian numbers. So every division between quartanian numbers is allowed in transquartanians, including division by zero, right and left division. 
Now, uh, I would like to show some notable subsets of transport tanks because we just uh, seen, we have just seen that uh, the quartanians are a subset of transquartanians, but we have also the transcomplex numbers are a subset of the transquartanians. Transcomplex are is the set that uh, have the complex numbers and allows division by zero. And this is a subset of the transquartanians, as complex numbers are a subset of the quartanians. Here I show a diagram, an illustration of the transquartanian, and we have the quartanians are a subset of the transquartanians, but we have just seen that the transcomplex numbers are also a subset of the transquartanians, and the common part, the intersection between the transcomplex numbers and the quartanians are the complex numbers. And we know that the transreal numbers are a subset of the transcomplex numbers, and the common part between transreal, transcomplex, complex, and quartanians are the real numbers. And of course, transquartanian are transquartanians are not a superset of every number system. For example, just for illustration, for comparison, we have the set of the hyperreal numbers that have the infinitesimal numbers that was commented here. And uh, for example, the hyperreal numbers are not a subset of the transquartanian. The only common part between them is are the real numbers. And we have that uh, the all transquartanian numbers have a polar form. First, we define the number infinity. This is the class one zero and the number nullity. It is the class zero zero. And we have that the transquartanian infinity and the transquartanian nullity coincide with the transcomplex infinity and nullity respectively. And now we will denote the argument of uh, transquartanian numbers. Because quartanian are in four dimensional, they have uh, three angles. And we denote the argument A, theta, phi, and psi. This is, uh, as usual, the polar coordinate of a four-dimensional vector. This is the argument. In this way, we have the theorem, uh, proved in the paper, that all transquartanian numbers can be written with the product uh, of a uh, radius and the, its argument. The radius can be zero, can be any positive real number, can be infinity, the transreal number infinity, and can be nullity, the transreal number nullity or the transquartanian number nullity, because uh, they are the same. And we have that there is only one transquartanian number with radius zero, only one transquartanian number with radius nullity, but uh, if at least one angle is different, so we have two different infinite transquartanian numbers, that is transquartanian numbers with radius infinity. And in a similar way, if at least one angle is different each other, we have two different transquartanian. That uh, the finite radius, uh, they are the quartanian ones. In this way, all transquartanians have a unique polar de description, except zero and nullity, because zero and nullity can be represented in polar form with any angle. Well, we denote the set of all transquartanian numbers with infinity radius as eight power t subscript infinity. And it is a way we can see the transquartanian numbers is split in three kinds of numbers. 
the quartanian ones, the ordinary quartanian numbers that are the numbers with finity radials, the infi infinite transquartanian numbers that are the transquartanian with infinite radius, and the number nullity that is zero over zero. Now, uh, I will show only some properties about transquartanian. First, some arithmetical properties. There are a lot of, of them in the paper, but here I will show just some examples. Uh, for example, nullity plus any transquartanian number is nullity. Uh, a infinite transquartanian plus a non opus infinite transquartanian is an infinite transquartanian. The sum between two opposite infinite transquartanian is nullity. And the sum between an infinite transquartanian and a finite transquartanian is a infinite transquartanian, specifically the infinite transquartanian in the sum. We define the modulus of a transquartanian as usual. We define it as the quotient between the modulus of the numerator over the modulus of the denominator. And we have um, many properties about modulus that are the same, the same properties in quartanians. The, these properties, these properties are valid also in transquartanians. But uh, it's important to notice that the triangle inequality is uh, has a specific thing here in transquartanian that we change the less or equal for not greater than because the number nullity that is a transio number a uh, transio unordered number we define the conjugate of the transquartanian and that is the conjugate of the numerator over the conjugate of the denominator and we have also some properties about the conjugate. They are the same properties in quartanians. Notice that, for example, here in the product, we change the numbers of position because the multiplication uh, is not commutative. And uh, in the same way in the division, the right division and the left division. And now we define a metric and Consequently, a topology in transquartanian numbers, because of this transquartanian is a space, a metric space and a topological space. We start defining a homeomorphism phi between the set of the transquartanian, except the number nullity, to the disk, the united disk in, quart in quartanian, that is a subset of the transquartanian. This is the united disk in quartanian, but as the quartanians are a subset of the transquartanian, this is a united disk in transquartanian. And with this homeomorphism, we define this function D that will be a distance function. The distance from nullity to nullity is zero. The distance from nullity to other number is two. And the distance between any other transquartanian numbers are defined as we can see this way. And we prove that this function is, in fact, a metric in the space of the transquartanian. And we, we have that the topology in the quartanian induced by the metric. Uh, topology in transquartanian is the usual topology on uh, of quartanian. Because of this, we have that limits of sequence, limits of functions, and continuity on quartanian are consistent with limits and continuum in transquartanians. We have the same result. And we have some consequence of this topology in transquartanian space. For example, the transquartanian space is disconnected and nullity is the unique isolated point in transquartanian. 
as similar in trans complex or in trans real, trans real space. And transquartanian space is a separable space, is a compact space. James has commented that is an ac accusation. <laughs> <laughs> that and I was thinking if if real non space is not a compact space, what is the problem? <laughs> but we have uh, real numbers. Uh, real space is a compact space and. Transquartanian space is also a compact space because the, the points at infinity made it compact. And we have that transquartanian is a complete metric space. And some final considerations. Uh, here we have a pictorial image of the transrio line. It is just an illustration. Uh, here we have the real line and the extended real line with the points at infinity, minus infinity and infinity, and nullity, that is a point that lies off the extended uh, real line. This is a one ball <laughs> because this is the line uh, together with the points at infinity. And we have an image an illustration of the trans complex plane. And this is the complex plane in the middle and the circle at infinite with an infinite transcomplex number in each direction. And the nullet is a point that uh, lies off the extended complex plane. And this is a two ball, that is a disk. Two ball, this is the extended complex plane and two ball uh, together with the point at nullet. And we have a four ball of the transcortane, but unfortunately we can see four dimensions. So I don't have a picture. And uh, just some comments. The quartanians are used in various applications in computer science and physics. And the transcortanians have the, the, the obvious application in computer that, that is the exception free version of the quartanians. But we ask if uh, transquartanians have application physics, if de uh, developing the use of the transreal number in physics equations. This is, uh, this is a thing to research after that, after the transquartanians. And uh, quartanians have been used to describe all four Maxwell equations in a single differential equation uh, of a quartanian variable because the quartanian are uh, the quartanian the quartanians are vectors in four dimension and we ask can Maxwell equations be totalized in terms of quartanians if they can do the singularities in each individual equation coincide simultaneously with the quartanian singularities this is a question to be researched and finally I thank you all of you for, for that patient. Okay, thank you, Shanga. Brilliant. Um, the, let me briefly say something about physics. So the real numbers occur in physics for measuring things in the obvious way. The complex numbers occur for describing vectors and electrodynamics. The quaternions arise in describing spin in quantum physics. So if you've got real numbers, complex and quaternion, you can do almost all of mathematical physics. Uh, and by introducing the transversion of, of those things, you can now do mathematical physics at singularities, exactly at singularities. So that's what makes them interesting from a physical point of view. And then the question is, does the universe <coughs> agree with the transversion? Do physical laws operate at singularities in the way that the trans mathematics describes? So, so that's a question of physics. It is beyond mathematics. Um, and ultimately that is an empirical question. 
but there is uh, immediate payoff in computer science, which is computer graphics, a very um, wealthy application. There's a lot of money in computer graphics. And it uses quaternions to describe rotations. Um, and so having an exception free version of that would be a good thing. Okay, anybody else have any comments? Where are you going to go from here, Chago? <laughs> What's next? <laughs> yeah. Um, are, are there any, any other number systems that can that await this kind of extension? Uh, not yet. Uh, I and James uh, have talked about, for example, the octanions. Uh, we can try um, make the, the, this the same kind of texture, but uh, it's necessary to to do it yet. Not yet. Uh, so I, I would prefer, it's a bit bizarre, but I would prefer not to do transoctonians uh, because it leaves it for other people to do, other postgraduate students. Because we've done real, transreal, transcomplex, transquaternion, and the question arises is can the Cayley Dixon formula be extended to polar form, which would then give octonians? So rather than build octonians from the ground up, I would prefer to leave it as a, an open question for some other PhD student to extend the Cayley Dixon formula and build the transquaternions that way, transoctonians that way. Also, there are almost no physical applications of octonians. <laughs> so there's, there's no physical advantage to it. I would prefer to work on other things. Now, in order to answer Jan's question, yes, lots of number systems could be extended. So, for example, in the paper on, um, on um, constructing the transreals and transfields. Algebra quite transfields. Yeah, that's it. We, we discussed uh, trans surreal numbers. <laughs> and there are lots of versions of number systems sorry, that could be transified. Uh -huh. uh, basically, any number system that has infinitesimals or transfinite numbers, infinities, could be extended. Um, and very largely, I prefer to leave other people to do that, give the postgraduates something to do. Have you had any? Uh, contemplated extending a non-standard arithmetic to transreals. I haven't, but Thiago published in Transmathematica, I think it was in Transmathematica, a construction of the uh, transreals from the hyperreals. I think he presented it at last year's conference. So that much has already been done. Mm -hmm. Essentially, any system that's got infinitesimals or infinities could be extended. And the question is, who can be bothered to put in the effort? Mm -hmm. All right. 